Hey everybody, happy Wednesday, and welcome back to Midweek Musing, that time we take once every week to slow down just a little bit and remember one truth from the past week's message. Now, this past week, if you showed up expecting Pastor John to continue in our Biblically Incorrect series, you were thrown a little bit of a curveball because he wasn't feeling well and was unable to preach. As brothers and sisters, remember to keep John in prayer this week for healing, for peace, and for rest. But what you were treated to is Ted Bruner from Fellowship of Christian Athletes, one of our monthly mission partners, as he delivered a message reminding us to stand firm and rely on our GPS. Now, you may be thinking, is Ted into some kind of geocaching or something like that? Well, no. GPS, in this case, is actually an acronym for God's Word, Prayer, and Sharing. And it's a pretty um, simple message, but also an important one that's totally key to being a disciple maker and disciple of Jesus. What Ted encouraged us to do is to stand firm on the truth, to stand in the gap in prayer, and to let the gospel so permeate our lives that we can't help but share it. At one point, during Ted's message, he asked a question that immediately just jumped out to me and I knew it was key. And that question is what I want to have as our one truth from this last Sunday's message. He asked the question, where am I going to go fishing? Now, as you can see here, I have a rod and reel, I'm casting, but I'm no real fisherman, don't let me fool you. At best, I'm a casual fisherman. I have the tools to look like it, but this is definitely not my sphere of influence. For Ted and FCA, their sphere of influence is sports and athletics. And they meet athletes where they are, in schools and college campuses, and teach them how to disciple other people. Disciples making disciples. Fishing isn't my sphere of influence. Maybe sports isn't yours. But maybe yours is baking, or sewing, or for you maybe it is literally fishing. A fisherman knows much more than I do about fishing. They know the seasons, they know how deep in the water the fish are gonna be, they know the right lures to use. Their knowledge and their being in that, um, that space provides them influence. What is your sphere of influence? Once you determine your sphere of influence, Ted encouraged us to pray over our circles. What he meant by that is to write your name in the center of a circle and to draw little branches with smaller circles with people's names in them who you come into contact in your sphere of influence to whom God may be sending you. You know, a fisherman knows the exact lure to use. They may have a box of hundreds of them, but they know which lure it's gonna take to catch that fish. Likewise, in your sphere of influence, what knowledge may you have that allows you to reach the people you interact with. What is God going to give you to give away today? Who might he be calling you to share with? Ask God and then expect God to move and work in your life. So, this week, my question for you is, where are you going fishing?